Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Channel S's Friends of Bangladeshi program. Each time, as you know, we bring a very special friend, and today is no exception. Before I introduce him, let's go and see a video clip on him. Jonathan Paul Harlan was born in Allahabad, India, to British parents. His father was from Watford and mother was from Raigate, Surrey. Jonathan came to England when he was 13 years old. He completed his degree in civil engineering from University of Nottingham. Jonathan moved to Bangladesh in 1970. Soon after he arrived, the liberation war began. Jonathan didn't sit back and watch. He began raising money to help fund the liberation war. In 1975, he joined an NGO in Borishal. To learn Bangla, he took language lessons for nine months. Till this day, Jonathan has been a friend of Bangladesh. We have just seen a documentary on our very distinguished guests. He is Jonathan Paul Harland. Mr. Harland, welcome to Channel S. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. Where were you born? I, I was born in, uh, in India in the state of Uttar Pradesh, near to the city of Allahabad. Our parents to London to get children. Our Abba Watford to get children. Our Ma or Raigate, sorry, sorry. Time I or Tara or Londoner. Bashinda children. Bashinda, yeah. Children. So uh, you were um, born in Allahabad, and then uh, your primary education, where did you go to school? Uh, I was born in my Bharati Chilu, but when I was born, I was born in England. I was born in England. And then um, secondary education and university? University in Nottingham. I did a degree in civil engineering. While you were a student at Nottingham University, was there any you know, other students from Bangladesh or East Bengal or, you know, you met uh, any did they have a group or something yes i, I was a member of, of of the committee in the uh, india society of nottingham university okay. it was called india society but there were people from pakistan india well, and east pakistan Bengal. west pakistan and india all together uh -huh. uh, so that um, i i was there and uh, during that time uh, the war of liberation started uh, so I was very interested in reading the different uh, newspaper reports, finding out what was going and radio? on. Mm. And radio? Uh, ra radio? Radio I didn't hear so much, but, but I was... the newspapers? Re yes. And that was around 1970? That's right, and yes. In 1970, there was a uh, cyclone in uh, Bengal? East That's Bengal, right, Bangladesh. yeah, particularly over the island of Bola. Then uh, at that time there was very little warnings for cyclones and anyway the people of Bola could not have evacuated the island so it's a very, uh, very difficult lot time. A lot of people died. And yes I think one of the biggest uh, uh, natural tragedies that has been in that part of the world. But you did not sit back you did few things from here didn't you? O all right yeah. yes uh, both f f in the India society we had different um, cultural events and we raised some funds, uh, both for the cyclone and, and for a uh, war of liberation. During your post-graduation, you met somebody, a principal of... All right. Uh, he, he was vice... His name was Abdul Rob, Rob. And he was vice principal of Jinaida Cadet College. And he had come to England just for one year of study. And then uh, he hoped to go back to his country. But... Uh, at that time, there was a real purge of the intellectual people in Being Bangladesh. Being killed. Yes. And um, the, the principal of the college was killed. So uh, Abdul Rob's wife and uh, brothers told him not to return to the country. So he was staying in Britain, but his mind was very perturbed because his wife and, th and daughters were there in, in Bangladesh. Is he alive now? I don't think so. I, no. I think he must have passed on. But I, I kept in contact with him for a number of years. number of years, mm. yeah. Year 1975, the father of the nation was assassinated. That's true. Where were you? Uh, at the time, I, I visited once in 1974 for one month, and then he was alive. But 
uh, I was in Britain in August 75, and then uh, I, I joined my uh, uh, work in the NGO in November 75. So, in November 75, the NGO joined Korlen in Bangladesh, a newborn country. Apni kohon Bangladesh? I mean, in November 75, I was in Borishal. She is a school in the Orient Institute. She is a new Bangladesh. She is a new school in the Orient Institute. She is a new school in the Orient Institute. She is a that is the be best way when you speak with, you know, speak, you learn easily. Right. Yeah? Actually, learning a language is a social activity. That's right, yes. I was not good in the, in the classroom work, but I could go and speak to people in the tea shops. It's mm. very good. Did you work in Bangladesh? Then uh, I worked for five years in, in Jenaida. And Jenaida? Then, yes. And then in, uh, in Kustia, Chodanga, that's all in the west side of the country, country. and then uh, I was posted to, uh, to Dhaka uh, to work in the administrative office there. How long after you came to Dhaka to do the administrative work? All right. I, I think I was in the, uh, outside of Dhaka for about seven years, and then I came I into the city. Into the city, yeah. But I also often did uh, trips outside of Dhaka uh, particularly for different types of construction work that I was involved in. Right. And where was the office in Dhaka? Which part of Dhaka? O office, to start with, was, was in um, uh, Danmandi, uh, near to Green Road, but then later it shifted to uh, uh, Mirpur, uh, Mirpur. Mir Mirpur Dosh number. Dosh number. Is near yes. to the indoor stadium. Oh, yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. Abni Thakten Kunjage. What the country is more the Taklam Danmandi, Mohammedpur, Alalmatir. When did you get married? Okay, I got married in uh, 1990 in 19. December. Okay. Yes, so I was a bachelor for about 12 years in Bangladesh mm -hmm. and then got married. And you got married to a lady from the subcontinent. That's true. Yes. My wife is from Pune, Pune yes. uh, in the west side of India. It's the home of Sachin Tandulkar. You lived in Bangladesh for a while. And did you fall in love with the, the country? Uh, very much so. I had so many uh, uh, friends and um, uh, particularly as a bachelor, they would ask me to their homes and particularly at the, uh, the season of Eid, then I, I had um, many invitations, both at Kurbani Eid and uh, at the um, uh, Ramadan, the Ramadan Eid. Eid. Then I, I, I had many uh, invitations. Apnar bobat to Bangladesh hoye chilo. Eto shotti. Amar bier onustan chilo oi Pune, kintu ek mash pore oi jokar Bangladesh chilam. Dhaka. Tokon bobat chilo. Dhaka. Dhaka town. Dhaka. Your children? Ah, oi amar boro chile ta nam hoche Andrew, mani nam kora gayok hoche Andrew Kishor. I am Andrew, and I am John Mostan, Dinajpur. Dinajpur, North mm. Bengal. Yeah. Yes. But then okay. he was born in 92. Then the younger son, Mark, he, he was born in 95. He was born in, in England. So your wife's name is Carol? Yes. Uh, 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 do you speak English? Yes. When I was in Chile, I was in Hindi. Kintu jokan Bangladesh eshechen, tokan Bangla shikechen. Apni thaklen Bangladesh, Bangladesh luk the shate mishlen, chinlen, desh ke chinlen, apni desh ke bhalo vaste shuru korlen. Nis joy. In 2001, apni West Bengal chole gelen. Ah, ida shotti. Kano? Mani amar kaj kub costu chilu. Mm. Uh, 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 
চিটগং সাইডে গুর্ণির জোর ছিল এবং সেই সময় প্রধানমন্ত্রী শেখ হাসিনা বলেছেন যে ওই বিনো ফ্লাড শেল্টার তৈরি করতে হয় মানে ওই বিশেষ করে ওই কোস্টল অঞ্চলে তখন এক এক কিলোমিটার একটার ফ্লাড শেল্টার নির্মাণ করতে হয় Welcome back. We were discussing about the time Jonathan Paul Harlan spent in Bangladesh. Jonathan, um, you had a friend. You made a friend. His name was, what was it? An- An- oh, all right. Dr. Anwar Al-Khorim. Mm. I mean, uh, he, he was uh, quite a bit older and senior to us, so we uh, call him like uncle. Uncle. Uncle Dr. Anwar Al-Khorim. Khorim. Okay. And he was a uh, professor of anthropology and also one of the founders of the Lalon Academy okay. in, in, Ku- in the in town Kust- of Kustia. Kustia. Town. Okay. Mm. So l- now let's talk about Lalon. All right. Yeah. So you went to, did you go to any festival or anything? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I mean, each springtime, then they had a, a special f- a festival of Lalon Shongit mm. and uh, some of the famous singers like Farida Parvin, they came from Dhaka or different places and then the local singers that they are called Baul, Baul. singers, that then they would uh, all perform. I mean in the spring in Bangladesh it's wonderful you can have open air concerts mm-hmm. and a really good atmosphere and Uh, some who are very famous, others who, who are mm, uh, quite so famous, poor, yes. but uh, mixing together and really in, enjoying the, uh, the Lalon Giti. So, do you listen to Lalon Giti? Yes, I listen to it. But when I was in the first place, I was in the first place, and I was in the first place, and I was in the first place. I didn't understand what is the first place, but uh, gradually they helped me to understand that many of Lalon's uh, songs have a spiritual undertone and uh, uh, so that uh, they're, they're, they're quite tricky to understand but once you understand it then, then it uh, gives a lot of joy. What was it like in 1975 in Bangladesh after Bangabundu was assassinated? I think for a number of years it was a bit chaotic because after the, the civil war There was a, a time of, of uh, flood and then a time of drought. So the, the situation was uh, uh, really uh, quite uh, critical at that time and many people were poor. And um, some of the um, people who had been working in the Mukti Bahini, they still had their weapons. And so it was a, a bit dangerous. But for us as foreigners, We found it very peaceful and we could go about our work and uh, shopping and things uh, quite uh, quite easily. Any fond memories? Oh, oh yes. Uh, I, I think um, uh, traveling by, by the boats on the rivers, at that time many of the bridges were broken, so you would travel a little way by bus, then you'd have to cross river by ferry and then uh, another bus. So it, traveling took a long time. But uh, you could really meet up with different people uh, on the journeys and have good conversations. Would you like to go back? I went back in 2011. Uh, I, I hope, hope to go again. Um, uh, I, I go often to, to India because my parents-in-law are quite old. From, yes. So we visit there, but uh, I'd like to go back one time. Uh, the Bangladeshi people are friendly? V- very much so, yes. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Uh, I mean, h- here in London, I-, I also meet quite a lot of the Bangladeshi people and uh, I-, I think because I speak Bengali, then they're a, a bit uh, amazed at that 
and then they ask about what I was doing in Bangladesh mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. And the culture in Bangladesh, Bangladeshi culture? Yes, well, I mean, certainly um, w- one of my friends was doing a lot of translation of the works of the poems of Rabindranath Thakur and uh, really trying to, he was a pianist, so he was fitting the, um, the translating uh, Bengali poems into English poems and then uh, playing them on the piano mm-hmm. so that uh, uh, I r- really enjoyed uh, th- those um, di- different poems of uh, Rabindranath Thakur. So what did you do now? I retired from the economy, but Protect Shomba, I went to the Heathrow Airport Detention Center and I had permission to go to the detention center Dukti Pari আর যারা বাংলাদেশে আমরা ওই তাদের বেড়াতে যাই একটু সান্ত্বনা দিই সান্ত্বনা দেয় এটা খুব মুশকিল কারণ তারা শুধু ওভারস্টে করেছেন কিন্তু তারা জানে না তারা কতদিন তারা কতদিন ডিটেনশনে থাকবে এবং লিগাল প্রসেস একটু লেংথি তাই তাদের একটু অসুবিধা আছে I protect British Party Bar, I mean, Brick Lane. Yes, I'll come to that. But All right. So, uh, when you go to the detention center, are there, what is the percentage of Bangladeshis there? I think it's difficult to say, but uh, maybe uh, 10%, 10% uh, Bangladeshi, 10% Indian, 10% Pakistani, and then uh, uh, others from Africa or, 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 other or Europe. They are obviously, you know, Uh, distressed people there waiting, mm-hmm. not knowing uh, what's going to happen, and you go there to comfort them. That's yes. fantastic. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic humanitarian work. On other days, or rather, uh, there is another day during the week, you said you work in a bookshop? All right, we have a small uh, bookshop near to Brick Lane called Shantir Boy. It's in Fashion Street, mm-hmm. uh, so that we, we meet with Bangladeshis there. We have a small um, uh, book club, particularly for, uh, or really for four or five grandfathers. Uh, they're my age, but oh, I'm yeah. not a grandfather. Oraki Bangladeshi? Uh, yes, originally from Bangladesh, but then um, most of their life they have been in, in this country. In this country. The, the, there is a small club. Uh, consisting of f- few people, six, seven people. Yes. And what do you do? Just discuss and... Yeah, we, we choose a, a book once a month. We try to read the book and then uh, to, to, to discuss it. Uh, sometimes it will be a, a Bengali book and uh, some... Well, we, we just did for Nozul... Uh, Nozul Islam Erek Tukobitar Nam Hoche Manush আলোচনা করেছি মানব ধর্ম কি এবং আমরা আদমি মানে যে আমরা আদমের সন্তান সেই জন্য আমরা একজন অন্যজনকে সাহায্য করি সাহায্য ভালোবাসত And, uh, but uh, because uh, Amar Shashur, Chilean no Bahini officer, Mani Bharate no Bahini officer, Tai Oitini Oi Bharate Bino Pradesh Gaten. So sometimes we have Punjabi food, sometimes we have South Indian food, sometimes we have uh, Bengali food. Uh-huh. Uh, but we often go to, uh, to, to Brick Lane and the supermarkets to buy the Bengali fish. রুই মাছ আর ইলিশ মাছ আমরা বেশি খাই না কারণ বেশি কাতা আছে কিন্তু আমার স্ত্রী প্রচন্ড করেন পাঙ্গাস মাছ আর রুই মাছ উই টক অ্যাবাউট দি পিপুল ইন বাংলাদেশ দি বেঙ্গলি পিপুল হোয়াট অ্যাবাউট দি পিপুল ইউ হ্যাভ নোন ওর ইউ নো ইন দিস কান্ট্রি হোয়াট আর দি লাইক আই মিন ফর মাই এক্সপিরিয়েন্স ইন দি in the detention center. See, some people, when they come to, to, to England, then they uh, fit into the culture, they uh, learn English, they go to the 
uh, to English schools or colleges, so then they can uh, mix in with the culture. But uh, some of them, if they come, they're illiterate, then they can be here 10 or 15 years. Before they get But adjusted. not, they don't yeah. really learn but, English. Uh, you know, the young people, Yes. young people, when you saw, got, got to know them before, and the young people now, what difference? Do you think they're educated? And uh, Certainly, and, yes. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, uh, m many of them are really uh, up and coming and uh, really getting involved in society, and, and that's yeah. very encouraging to see. Finally, what message would you have about humanity and the b b country of Bangladesh, the Bengali people? I think f from my experience, people were, were very friendly, very curious, and we had some very, very good uh, discussions. Um, and I, I learned a, a lot about the, um, uh, the, the Muslim festivals and even Hindu festivals. And there were, was um, uh, uh, really a very good uh, situation of harmony. Mm -hmm. And that's w what we seek to, uh, to carry on within East London in, in Tower Hamlets uh, to, to really um, make sure that people have friends of, of different nationalities mm -hmm. and that they can uh, have res mutual respect for one another. It's true we may have different ideas, thank you. but we should thank have a r real respect for one another. I do want to thank you very much for coming to the studio. You have made a special effort to come today and um, we'll meet up soon. Viewers, we have had a very interesting discussion about Bangladesh with our guest, Jonathan Paul Harland. We'll be back soon. Stay tuned with Channelist. Thank you.